I just bought this giant satellite dish or what I would like to call a Beyblade Stadium off Facebook Marketplace for around $50. It's about almost two times as big as a regular BB10 stadium and it has the perfect slopes for Beyblades. The walls are made out of foam and it's quite short enough for attack types to be able to knock Beyblades over the walls if needed to. I'm not really sure what kind of material the stadium is made out of but it is quite heavy and the hardness is similar to metal. So now to test out this stadium, I'm going to be using Storm Pegasus against four other stages of Beyblades. Storm Pegasus is a right spinning attack type Beyblade owned by the main character Jinka Hagane in the anime. Its main feature is on its tip rubber flat which will give it a lot more attack power, speed, and a huge grip onto the stadium. We're going to be going against four stages of his rival, so the first stage will be against Rock Ares. Rock Ares is a right spinning defense type Beyblade owned by Hioma in the anime. Its main feature is in its spin track Eternal Defense 145 that allows it to freeze spin. Our second stage will be against Rock Leon, a right spinning defense type Beyblade owned by Kiyoya in the anime. Kiyoya was Jinka's biggest rival being able to compete against him throughout the whole show. Our third stage will be against Burn Phoenix. Burn Phoenix or Burn Fire Blaze is a right spinning stamina type Beyblade owned by Jinka's dad in the anime. This Beyblade's main feature is on its tip metal sharp being able to provide a lot of stamina and low friction against the stadium. And our last stage will be against Lightning El Drago, a left spinning attack type Beyblade owned by Ryuga in the anime. Ryuga was one of the main consistent antagonists back in the anime utilizing one of the few left spinning Beyblades. It's going to be pretty fun seeing two attack type Beyblades clashing in the stadium. Alright, now let's start getting onto these battles. We have Storm Pegasus, the attack type Beyblade, versus Rock Ares, a defense type Beyblade. We're going to be doing a best of 5, so first the 3 points will take it all. Storm Pegasus gets a huge hit onto Rock Ares and knocks it out of the stadium. The score is now 1 0. Rock Ares manages to hold on with his defense and now the score is 1-1. One, one. Rock Ares takes the win with a good showcase of defense. The score is now 1 2. Storm Pegasus gets a great upper attack onto Rock Ares and knocks it over the wall. The score is now tied 2 2. Pegasus gets a great charge up hit. The score is now 3 2, which means Pegasus takes the win. Even though the stadium is much bigger, Storm Pegasus still showed that attack types can prevail in the stadium. The battles where Pegasus won wasn't even close, it completely knocked Rock Ares completely out of the stadium. Now let's move on onto the second stage to see if Rock Leon can do any better. Once again, we're going to be doing a best of 5, so first to 3 points will take it all. A great hit onto Leon by Storm Pegasus, the score is now 1-0. Rock Leon barely manages to survive after that huge hit in the beginning. The score is now 1-1. One, one. Rock Leon wins once again. The score is now 1-2 with Rock Leon in the lead. A great charge up by Storm Pegasus gets a one hit KO. The score is now tied 2 2.
And there you go, Storm Pegasus somehow managed to find the correct angle to knock out Rock Leo and the score is now 3-2 which means Storm Pegasus wins. These battles were so fun to watch, I feel like because the stadium is so big, Storm Pegasus can actually run around and get a really good charge up hit. But now let's move on to stage 3 against Burn Phoenix. It's going to be pretty interesting to see if the Metal Sharp tip reacts any differently onto the stadium. We're going to be doing a best of 5, so first the 3 points will take it all. Looks like Burnt Phoenix has a good grip onto the stadium and actually wins with a sleep out. The score is now 0-1. Burn Phoenix is barely budging at all and takes the win once again. The score is now 0 2. A great upper attack by Pegasus lifts up Phoenix and knocks it out. The score is now 1 2. Oh my god, that 3 hit combo from Pegasus. Let's check out this slow mo real quick. A perfect sequence of attacks by Pegasus here. The score is now tied 2 2. And Burn Phoenix completely denies the comeback. That battle was a great showcase from both of these Beyblades to display their highest potential. Burn Phoenix with the Metal Sharp tip synergizes so well with the stadium being able to grip on it quite hard. If you guys remember in the last battle, Burn Phoenix was just about to get knocked out but the Metal Sharp tip was able to actually grip onto the stadium, denying it from losing. Just look at how close it was about to get knocked out, it was literally on the edge. That was so cool looking back. But now we have to move on onto our last stage against Lightning El Dragon. We're going to be doing another best of five, so first to three points will take it all. A great two hit combo completely knocks out Storm Pegasus. Let's slow this down and analyze this battle real quick. El Drago gets a great hit onto Pegasus, uses the walls to accelerate behind Pegasus and knocks it out. What an insane battle, the score is now 0-1 for Lightning El Drago. Pegasus takes this win with a sleep out and the score is now tied 1-1. Looks like another sleep out win by Pegasus, the score is now 2-1. The longer you live, the more you will realize that the only things that truly exist in this reality are merely pain, suffering, and futility. Ooh, a brutal hit onto Charmander. I hope you guys know where that quote came from, by the way. We're going to count that as a draw, the score is still 2-1.
This time around, El Drago takes the win with the sleep out. The score is now tied 2-2. And El Drago takes the final round with the sleep out. Definitely not as action packed as I thought it would have been, but the battles were still fun to watch. And I've personally just loved seeing the Beyblades run around the stadium for some reason. It just feels so satisfying. But anyways, if you guys enjoyed this video, consider subscribing. And if you guys want to see any other videos or matchups, let me know in the comments. And like always, thanks for watching.